Hello, this is a pathology specimen showing a coronal slice of the brain and uh, we are looking at multiple discrete masses in both cerebral hemispheres. Turning this around, we can actually appreciate that these masses tend to occur at the grey-white junctions. And let me just zoom into one of these. We can see, for example, in uh, this particular mass, it is relatively well demarcated from the rest of the brain parenchyma. And in fact, in this central region, there is this pale geographic area, which is quite friable in appearance. And again, we see a similar appearance here. This most likely represents necrosis. Again, we can see this geographic area of pale necrosis within this mass. So the diagnosis here is metastasis to the brain or metastatic carcinoma to the brain. And differential diagnosis for these multiple masses in the brain would include mostly infective causes, for example, parasitic infections or bacterial infections. And of course, the past history and the current clinical picture would be very important. Here are some common primary sites that may give rise to metastases to the brain. Uh, we have lung carcinoma, breast carcinoma, skin malignancies, in particular melanoma, uh, renal cell carcinoma or kidney malignancies, and carcinoma of the gastrointestinal tract. So sometimes the brain is actually the first manifestation clinically of a underlying malignancy, and we will have to think especially of these possible sources. There are also some uncommon tumours that tend to favour cerebral mets, and one example is choriocarcinoma, which is a germ cell tumour. This tumour has a characteristic gross appearance because uh, the tumour cells tend to invade blood vessels, so these are very hemorrhagic tumours, and grossly they will appear blackish. There are two main patterns of cerebral metastases. One is what we see here, which is discrete parenchymal metastases, where we can see well demarcated masses. Usually they are surrounded by a rim of edematous tissue, and they tend to occur at the junction of the grey and white matter. These may actually be more amenable to localised treatment, such as radiation or even localised excision, and they result in an improved quality of life. The other pattern of metastatic disease is known as meningeal carcinomatosis, and we see a more meningitis disseminated-like pattern where there are multiple tumor nodules studding the surface of the brain and even the spinal cord, and this can give rise to cranial and spinal nerve root compression. They tend to occur in carcinomas of lung and breast, and unfortunately, the prognosis is very poor and this is very difficult to treat. Microscopically, uh, this is an example of metastatic breast carcinoma in the brain, and we can see a low magnification uh, picture here where this pink area is the brain parenchyma, and we can see that the tumor, which is the purplish area, the tumor is infiltrating into the brain parenchyma. Here is a high magnification view, and again, this is the brain parenchyma. Uh, these cells are the astrocytes. And we can see that there are these large cohesive sheets of very pleomorphic malignant cells. This particular cell is very large with a huge nucleus and a very, very prominent nucleolus. So here is an example of metastatic breast carcinoma infiltrating into the brain. And in summary, this is a coronal section of the brain showing the presence of multiple masses in both cerebral hemispheres, many of which are located at the grey-white matter junction, and many of which show central necrosis. And the diagnosis is metastatic carcinoma. Thank you.